Dr. Wilcox, if a person lies on Form 4473 and a user and is a user of unlawful drugs, um, you can get between five to ten years for that. Is that correct? Is that my understanding? No, I, be I believe Congress changed the uh, sentence uh, last Congress. Uh, what is that sentence now? Up to 15. Why isn't Hunter Biden being investigated and arrested for lying on a Form 4473? Welcome to another installment of the Connecticut Gun Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Firearms LLC, PAN Firearms for NRA certification and multifaceted gun training. You can reach us at 203-300-6343 or use our website at www.panfirearmsllc.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description box below. And if you like my content and like my channel, you can support me through the links in the description box below. But let's talk about this. Now, if you remember, I did several stories on this. Well, Hunter Biden and his interaction, to put it loosely, with firearms. If you remember in 2018, his then girlfriend, who happened to be the wife of his former brother who passed away, was worried and somewhat scared. So she took a firearm that belonged to Hunter Biden and threw it in a trash can by a store in Delaware. Then the gun disappeared. If you remember that story and not only did the ATF go to the store where the gun was purchased and retrieve the records, but allegedly the secret service also intervened and what allegedly looks like a bit of a cover up to protect the Biden family. You can see that here and I got that up there on the screen. Remember, this is 2018, we're at 2023, and not one thing has happened to Hunter Biden concerning this issue. There was a congressional hearing very recently, and the representative from Wisconsin Republican, Tom Tiffany, had an ATF representative at the hearing, and he asked a very pointed and directed question. I wanna go ahead and let you watch that. The Wilcox. If a person lies on Form 4473 and a user and is a user of unlawful drugs, um, you can get between five to ten years for that. Is that correct? Is that my understanding? No, I, be I believe Congress changed the uh, sentence uh, last Congress. Uh, what is that sentence now? Up to fifteen. Up to fifteen years. Uh, why hasn't Hunter Biden been prosecuted for the crime that he committed? I'm not aware of the facts of that case and can't comment on it. Okay, who do we talk to to see why this uh, case is not being prosecuted? I mean, he said very clearly in his book that he used drugs, he had a uh, gun, a gun, at least a gun. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. State point of order. Totally irrelevant and not germane to this proceeding. Uh, he, sir, he's got, his, he's got his five minutes. Go ahead, continue. He's got a court of law. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> I understand why um, you do not want Mr. Wilcox to answer that question. It's very clear why you don't want, because there's a dual system of justice in America. That's what's going on right now, and everybody's talking about it across America. There's two standards of justice that are, um, that are going on. You heard that and you saw that. And you see the hemming and hawing coming from the Democrats saying that this has no relevancy to the hearing. Well, technically it does. This is an ATF representative and he's asking a very direct question as to why Hunter Biden was never investigated and never arrested for lying on the 4473. Now, I have seen the four, that form 4473 that Hunter Biden filled out for that specific firearm. And he, on the line where it says, are you addicted to any illegal narcotics? He put no, when we clearly know that he has a serious, serious illegal drug problem. We have plenty of video of him, the most infamous one being the one where he's arguing with a prostitute in the hotel room about how much crack was on a scale and it's on the video. As you heard Massey say, there are two tiers of justice system in this country and he's absolutely correct. We have seen one time and time again, Democrats break the law 
and never been held accountable and their minions running around doing illegal and even federally on a federal level doing illegal things that they have never been held accountable for while they're trying to put Trump in to get him locked up for <laughs> get him locked up for uh, basically charges that are that are past the statute of limitations and would be considered a misdemeanor but the DA Alvin Bragg in New York is trying to make them felonies and we're, we're watching this whole thing go down while we watch the other side pretty much do whatever they want. But he is absolutely correct. Imagine, and once again, two-tier justice system. Imagine you or I lying openly on a 4473 form and they catch on to what, you know, what we do, what would happen to us. We'd be under arrest, we'd go to court, we'd be imprisoned, end of story. But because the, Joe Hunter Biden has that connection to the chief executive, he's getting a free pass on the whole deal. It's fascinating to watch this go down. But once again, it, it just shows you that there is no accountability with the elites. And I'm talking about Democrat elites. There is no accountability. And I thought this was an interesting follow-up to that story. Remember, this is 2018 when this event went down and not one iota of movement towards possible charges. And it, based on, and if you look at the 4473 form, it tells you if you, you know, knowingly lie on this form, you will, you know, you're going to be charged for it. But there it is, once again. <laughs> it's fascinating how this all goes down. It's just amazing watching this because any other public person would be in prison right now if the same thing had happened. And to my knowledge, and there's been no follow-up, they still basically have not retrieved this revolver. So who knows where that is at this point in time. But you gotta also remember that there was another incident because this 4473 and this 2018 incident was about a revolver. Other images have come up of Hunter Biden in a hotel room naked with a prostitute and he's waving around another firearm, which happened to be a semi-automatic. There's been no questions whatsoever, none, as to where that firearm came from and how he got into his possession. Imagine, just imagine yourself doing something like this and where you'd be right now. You'd be, <laughs> as ABO likes to say, you'd be breaking the big rocks into little rocks. But let me know what you think. As always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, any statements of violence, the statements that lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time a video goes live. I will see you on the next one. Peace.